just, just tell me why it's important to the officers that are still out patrol. Yes, sir. Well, it's, it's very important. A lot of these guys uh, that are still working, and myself included, uh, have experienced losing a co-worker, a friend, uh, and, and of course, I've, I've been through it twice now and uh, with the sheriff's office. And, and so it's just, a, it's just a time to go back and, and honor these, uh, these names that have been put on our wall here in Anderson and just to uh, you know, show the family support. I saw a lot of families out here that uh, belong to uh, officers, their fallen officers, and it's just great to see them out and, of course, keeping their family members' legacy living on and just saying their name saying their name and remembering them every year. Of course, we do that at the, uh, the walk in the park in October as well. And it's, uh, you know, these people uh, died for their community. And it's, you know, you don't think about stuff like that here in Anderson, but uh, if you look back over all the names, you're like, wow, there's, there's a lot of people that have made the ultimate sacrifice serving their community here. And, uh, and that could be said with any first responder group because there's been a lot of firemen that have died in a lot of duty here too. So. Uh, it's just good to, to memorialize the, the folks that have made the ultimate sacrifice and, and also honor their families and friends. We saw a lot of friends, of our close friends of some of the officers, and uh, specifically you know, Devin Hodges, which was, who died in 2017, June 1st of 2017. We have a lot of deputies here tonight that work closely with Devin, and uh, Devin worked for me, and it was, uh, you know, that's just uh, such a blow, but it's an honor to get to remember him every year. And because uh, we're never going to forget him. So, 100 years from now, hopefully his name's still being read. And, uh, and his legacy will continue. And the same for Alex Burdett, who I used to work with on the shift together. Uh, it doesn't seem that long ago, 2005, when he, when, when he died and passed. And, uh, but anyway, and, and of course, uh, Chris Taylor's parents were here tonight, of course, and that was before my time. But, you know, 1992 really wasn't that long ago. So. Is it also a reminder of how dangerous your job is? It is dangerous, and you know, uh, for those that still do it today, and, it, and it, I believe it's gotten more dangerous, um, it just shows you that we, we all know what the sacrifice could be, but yet we're still willing to do it. And these folks that were standing on the stairs tonight, you know, they're the ones in the trenches, and you know, they put on that gear every day knowing that it could be the last time they ever, they ever put it on or see their families and loved ones and friends and coworkers. And, Yet they still do it. Thank God they thank God they're willing to do it. Yeah, I think the first stories I've heard was Charles Shepard. Oh really? Yeah.